It's Martin Sheen. I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am uh, to you and the Imago Film Festival for awarding me the Lifetime Achievement Award. My only regret is that I'm not able to uh, join you in person and accept it. You know, we have a funny way of looking at the uh, Lifetime Achievement Awards at my age. Sometimes they're referred to as the Not Yet Dead Award. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, that's not meant in any derogatory way, I promise you. I'm very happy to be still not dead, and I'm very happy to accept your award and grateful to you and everyone there at the festival for thinking of me uh, for such an honor. You know, I've been an actor all my life. In fact, I, I don't really have any memory of ever not being an actor, even though I, I couldn't express it as such when I was a child until I started going to the movies, and then gradually it uh, began to dawn on me that I was like those people up on the screen. And uh, I remember thinking that how, uh, how it, uh, happy I was and relieved to know that this extraordinary mystery was, uh, was uh, deep inside of me, and it gave me a, a, a great sense of, of purpose in my life. And it... And I knew even then, as a child, that if I didn't pursue that mystery, I would never be happy and I would never lead an honest life. And so, in a way, uh, my chosen profession was a foregone conclusion. But, you know, while acting is what I do for a living, activism is what I do to stay alive. And I'm often asked how I manage to unite the two, but in all honesty, uh, I don't really know because it was far less a conscious effort than it was a natural progression. Well, of course, if you grew up in a very large, poor immigrant family, chances are you were either Irish Catholic or Hispanic. And I was lucky enough to be both, so I had a big advantage when it, when it came to social justice activism. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm often asked, uh, uh, you know, if, do I have any regrets or would I have done it any differently? And, and the truth is no, I, w I wouldn't have. Of course not. Even knowing that uh, some of my activism uh, was, was costly, and sometimes very costly, uh, that was a reminder that uh, it was valuable, because if, if what you believe and what you, uh, what you thrust out there as a reflection of yourself is not costly, uh, then you're left to question its, its value. And uh, uh, so I, I always went with that, uh, and it's it always led me to to a very uh, even place. And uh, I, I'm, I was, I was uh, always encouraged by uh, uh, Robert Kennedy's quote, one heart with courage is a majority. And I'm often reminded that over the entire history of the world, uh, every truth uh, began as a blasphemy, you know, and no one has ever made a contribution of any real worth without self-sacrifice, personal suffering, and and uh, sometimes even death. You know, the Irish tell a story of a man who arrives at the gates of heaven and asks to be let in. St. Peter says, of course, just show us your scars. The man says, I have no scars. St. Peter says, what a pity. Was there nothing worth fighting for? <laughs> so... My fondest wish for all of you is that uh, you'll find something in your life worth fighting for, because when you do, you will have found a way to unite the will of the spirit with the work of the flesh, and the world will discover fire for the second time. So, uh, again, my sincere thanks uh, for your, your very sweet and thoughtful honor. I, I'm, I'm honored and grateful to you, and I wish you all the best. And... Uh, and I'll still look forward to meeting you sometime, and I hope that that's uh, in the near future. Again, thank you so much, and God bless.